So here's the uh, new 2022 Toyota Tundra SR edition. And this is the double cab two wheel drive. So kind of a strange duck for us to have here in Wisconsin, two wheel drive. This one has the six foot bed. And uh, really the entry level in terms of the pricing on the Tundra for 2022. So let's, uh, let's dive in and I'll tell you what you get in the base model two wheel drive SR edition. For 2022, the SR edition is uh, the practical version of the Tundra. So it has a lot of great features on it standard. And then if you're really looking to go up, you might want to consider an SR5. So the front grille on here is all the matte black ABS uh, plastic with the Toyota badge in the center. Tundra stamped in the bumper. You'll notice this one does not have fog lights. All other models do have fog lights right here in the bumper. So again, a very standard edition of the Tundra. We do have dynamic radar cruise control and that's what's behind the sensor here. So even though it's a entry level, if you will, Toyota does include all of the safety features that you would get on the SR5 edition in the SR package. Headlights are a uh, full complement of LED headlights, high beams. We have auto high beams and auto on and off. Uh, LED turn signals here in the side as well. Um, so this is again your entry level headlight package. I do love the bold lines up on the hood on the SR edition. Really these uh, strong shoulders here across the uh, wheel wall. Up in the windshield are your uh, sensors there for your dynamic radar cruise control and such. Take a look down at the uh, side walls. So your fenders do not have over fenders at all integrated in it, just a contoured line here on the SR edition. The wheel, standard wheel is, a, let's see, this is an 18 inch steel wheel. So it's kind of a silver painted steel wheel with the uh, chrome lug nuts, five lug nuts. It's a 245-75 series, 18 inch steel wheel, 18 inch all season tire. Uh, front disc brakes, ventilated front disc brakes, independent front suspension, and the uh, multi-link rear suspension that you'd find on any Tundra. So this is your double cab edition with the uh, full front door and the half back door, if you will. You can see all the windows do roll down. Matte black finish on the door handles. Does come standard, surprisingly enough, with the uh, smart keyless entry system on here with push button start. So again, the entry level, but some nice upgrades. Love the oversized outside mirrors. These are great for trailer towing. They do fold in and they also break away in the event that somebody clicks with, clips them with a bike or what have you. They are power operated as well. Blind spot monitoring is not available on the SR edition. But take, it, take a look at how large those lenses are on those mirrors. So if you're doing some trailer towing, you're really going to have some great visibility to back up the trailer. Gas door is going to be right here on the driver's side. Again, on your rear uh, fenders, no over fenders. Uh, rear disc brakes as well. There's that uh, body setup where you can actually see right through there. So they lifted the bed up a little bit. The uh, Tundra does come with a composite bed. It's aluminum reinforced as standard over the lip protection. You do have the sliding rear window with privacy glass, rear window defrost, shark fin and up tent and tent up top. You do have Sirius satellite radio. And there's your backup lights and your bed lights there as well. And because this is a composite bed, just like a fully loaded Tundra, you do have the integrated bed liner with the rear spoiler integrated here into the tailgate itself and then Tundra stamped right into there tailgate on the SR edition does not lock. Do you have a backup camera? It is a slow release uh, tailgate, so it drops down just like that. This truck's uh, base price is uh, about $35.9, and then of course you can add some things to it. Notice the tie-down hooks in the corners of the bed, and there are uh, graduated steps here, so if you want to add a second level, you can drop a 2x6 in there or a two by four and add a second level to there. Bring that back up. It's pretty lightweight tailgate, closes up easily. Tundra's stamped right into the tailgate and you can add an applique in there if you want to. 
This does have the LED tail lights that kind of strobe out, but it does not have the uh, power release on the tailgate like some of the upscale models do. The step bumper does have that slip resistant tread on here so you don't slip and slide when you get off. Especially if you have a boat and you back the boat in and your feet are wet, that's going to come in really handy to protect you from slipping. Here's your LED backup lights here. Trailer uh, lights are here as well, so your 7 and 4 pin is all set up. And then your receiving hitch here as well. And then down underneath we do have the full size spare tire and that's going to be the same wheel that's on the ground and then your exhaust system for 2022 comes out on the uh, driver's side here's a quick look up under at the suspension and the braking from the underside here so with that multi-link rear suspension which is all new for 2022 it does provide a smooth ride and a quieter less jarring ride let's go ahead and swing around up front we'll pop the hood a couple interesting things underneath the hood I want to talk about, particularly around the performance in the SR edition. So for uh, 2022, there's only two engines available on the Tundra. One's the hybrid, and the other one is this uh, 3.5 liter uh, V6 twin turbo with a 10-speed automatic transmission. What's unusual on the SR edition, this engine has been modified or detuned in some way because it actually has 348 horsepower, which is a, like 40 less horsepower than the SR5 and above. Uh, and it only has 405 foot-pounds of torque. And then, you know, if you go to the SR5 or the Limited, uh, those go up to 400 and what, 79 foot-pounds of torque. So those bump up quite a bit, horsepower bumps up quite a bit. I don't know what they did to this engine to, uh, minimize the horsepower and the torque in the SR. But if you know this and you're kind of, what do they call, call you, a gearhead, and you know what they did to it, feel free to make a comment in the comments. Let us all know what's the difference between the two engines. From what I know, they're the same engines. They just have performance changes between them. And this comes in uh, at 348 horsepower, 405 foot-pounds of torque. Now the engine and the transmission have a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Uh, you do get Toyota care, which covers your basic maintenance, so your oil changes, your fluid top offs, and your tire rotations are all covered uh, under Toyota care, which also provides roadside assistance for uh, the duration. The uh, vehicle itself, all Toyotas have a three year, 36,000 mile limited warranty uh, with no deductible. Let's uh, go ahead and jump inside and check out the interior. So inside, uh, it is kind of a no frills interior. It does have a lot of great standard features, but not a lot of uh, amenities. So on the door, this is all vinyl and plastic, uh, padded uh, embossed here with Toyota right here on the armrest. But this is padded out, this is padded out. Uh, but a real generic style on the door handle, just a flat black plastic door handle. One touch up and down on all four windows though, power door locks, power mirrors, speaker in the door, pockets in the doors, little storage cubby here, and then reflectors down in the bottom. Uh, those are not lights on the SR edition. Does have a, a protection on the threshold here, uh, resist scratches, dents and dings, those types of things. No power seat on the SR edition, and this is a cloth bucket seat. They are fairly comfortable. Not a lot of adjustments, it's just a recliner and of course you can move it forward and backwards. Side impact airbags right in the seat so those move with you as you move the seat back and forth. We do have height adjustable headrest and height adjustable seat belts, uh, but no lumbar support, no heated seats, no power seats on the SR edition. Take a look over on the uh, dashboard. There are four of these oversized vents up, down, left and right, two, two on each outboard passenger and then two in the center. As far as switches go down here on the dashboard, this is your cargo light for your bed, automatic high beams on and off, automatic engine stop and start, dimmer switch for your dash light, odometer, and then this switch it comes in really handy for trailer towing. What that does is it allows you to align your headlight down the road. So let's say this is the truck, you put a trailer on the back, it raises the headlights up from the weight, and this helps you to realign those headlights so they aim straight down the foot uh, straight down the road hood release here dead pedal gas and brake where you'd expect it 
and then it does have a tilt steering wheel which is this lever here and it also telescopes so you can pull it out but it's not power has all the features you'd find on an sr5 in terms of the uh, switches and such let's go ahead and grab a seat and check out the interior so here we are behind the wheel of the sr5 edition or sr edition i'm sorry there is a lot of room up here headroom knee room you know the front seat is super spacious uh the steering wheel is interesting because it's um vinyl on the top here but then it's leather on the side i believe that's leather it feels like leather i uh, do have all the same fingertip controls that you'd find on other editions including bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone controls for the information center which is up here we'll take a look at that in just a minute controls for the sound system they've added the gloss black trim around here um i don't i don't know why i mean they're going generic but they did put gloss trim on the inside so that looks pretty nice dynamic radar cruise control settings lane departure cruise control and then you can change the radio stations right here as far as the wiper controls they're here you do have intermittent wipers up front and then over on this side are the headlight controls and we do have auto on and off for the headlights as well take a look at our gauge cluster here i'm just going to slide the seat ahead a little bit so i can reach the pedals oh take a look at this leg room i'm just going to put that back one second so the leg room on here is incredible i cannot touch that pedal i'm five foot seven i couldn't drive from here if my life depended on it so if you're six foot or plus you're going to have plenty of leg room if you're seven foot or plus well good luck finding anything that you fit in comfortably so let's move this ahead here now I mentioned before we have smart keyless entry, so push button start, foot on the brake, and just push the button in. There it goes, starts right up. So there's a variety of uh, gauges and information in here. All Tundras have a, an, engine, engine, an engine pressure gauge, um, tachometer, uh, temperature gauge, voltmeter, speedometer, gas gauge, all of them have the same uh there's two different clusters but they all have a full complement of gauges tundra stamped up here we do have outside temperature digital clock in fact there's three clocks inside here uh lane departure and then you can use let's see the switches over here if you want to toggle through and take a look at other information like a digital speedometer there's a compass back that up compass right there so it might be hard to see on my camera but there's a variety of information your trip information your uh, lane tracing pre-collision road sign assist so a lot of information and controls right here within the gauge cluster easy to you read white on back excuse me white on black backlit take a look at our center stack so this is going to be the very entry level center stack as well um, let's just go ahead and plug in a, a little bit of information so you can kind of see this. Um, so there's your sound system settings. Hopefully you can see it. Um, we do have Cirrus satellite radio here. So you get three months of the platinum subscription, no charge. Comes in handy. Does not have navigation. Does have Apple, Clay, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it's Alexa compatible. Here's two of those vents as well. This is all a gloss black around here it looks really nice does show the dust and the fingerprints some people like it some don't you'll have to decide for yourself uh interesting on the sr edition um we do have automatic temperature control it's driver side only but you have a thermostat which is very unusual in an entry level truck like this but it's standard on the sr edition front window defrost rear window defrost and heated outside mirror controls are right here there's a USB uh, opportunity there to plug in your electronic devices. Let's throw that back to auto. And then down below, there's a variety of dummy switches, meaning accessory switches. Here's your four ways, and here's your traction control on and off. We do have, uh, I mentioned outside, a 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, let's go ahead and throw this in reverse just so you can see the backup camera. You'll notice the backup camera does have path projection, so it does tell you what direction you're headed, and there's a couple different perspectives that you can set up there as well. A couple different grid settings, whatever you prefer. Uh, pretty easy to read that, uh, but as I said, there are two larger systems available for here. This is your standard system. Down here is our brake hold, parking brake. It does have an electronic parking brake. 
we have a storage compartment down here um, you can actually drop your smartphone right here this is not wireless charging but just a nice place to throw your stuff cup holders down here two of them coin holder right here and then we'll take a look over here at our armrest and center console so there's some storage here and here this opens up into the uh, storage compartment so you don't have to open the whole thing but you can and there's a switch right here and there's a second switch over here for the passenger then underneath here it's a nice huge storage area lots of room place for coins odds and ends and then two usb there's usb c and a standard usb uh, power outlet right there or power point if you will so a lot of room to hide your stuff and, and uh, get it out of sight and out of mind. Uh, we'll take a look at what's on the back side when we jump in the back seat. Here's another look at those seats. We've got passenger assist grips on both front A pillars here. Makes it easier to get up and in and out. Uh, then up here, no mirrors on the SR edition, but the visors do slide. They extend back and forth. There's also overhead lighting for your LED lights. Here's your safety connect if you need help out on the road, roadside assistance, you can get that. And then this switch right here is the rear power window. So that window back there is controlled by that switch up front. And you can see it is uh, tinted or privacy glass. Then there's a storage cubby for your sunglasses. And then you have kind of the old school uh, day night mirror up here. And then finally, I often forget that there's another storage compartment up here and there's a 12 volt up here as well. So if you're connecting a radar detector or GoPro or something, you're gonna be able to plug it right in here. And then there's some additional speaker uh, grates up there on the top as well. So that's a quick look up front. Again, the SR Edition comes standard with some really great features. Let's go ahead and hop in the back seat. So the back door on here is kind of a half door, so getting in and out is not as easy up front. Same features we saw on the front, power window, speaker down here on the door, uh, padded armrest here, so pretty plain Jane, but uh, practical. Now the back seats on here do fold up, so you've got some storage underneath. Pop up like that, give them a good tug and they stay up. Does uh, have the Tundra badging down there as well. This is, uh, will hold water but there's no drain plug so be careful with that but a great play to, place to throw your ice or something on the way home from the grocery store uh, full carpeted rear seat on the floor here both of these seats that one over there folds up as well so if you need extra storage cut uh, you can do it there and then underneath here there's a uh, your jack is underneath there as well so to drop this down pretty easy just give this a tug and it comes down and out of your way You'll notice the back seat does not have an armrest. Height adjustable headrest, coat hooks, LED overhead lighting up there as well. And then cup holders here, storage cubby, and you can add wireless or you can add charging ports down here. It's not standard though. And then notice the back seat on that side has a pocket. Also notice when the seat's all the way back, nobody's gonna be sitting behind that seat. Uh, so you're gonna be able to throw your gym bag back there, but no people and uh, pretty limited leg room back here. I wouldn't want to ride back there for too long, but running from job site to job site probably should be just fine. So that's the uh, 2022 Toyota Tundra SR double cab, two wheel drive, four by two, so rear wheel drive. Hey, if you have any questions or comments about the video, please let me know. If you happen to know why this engine's got less horsepower and torque than the SR5, let me know and let other people know in the comments. I just learned it today and I'm frankly surprised to learn that. So tell me what your thoughts are. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.